What's up, whiskey lovers? Uh, day 12, and we're at the end of the White Possum series, which is the Australian tasting set from that. Um, and I'm hoping we've left the best for last because this is the Nant Distillery, the Port Cask. Um, it's 43% and it's from Tasmania. Comes in 500 ml bottles. It can actually get, you can buy it directly from them for 200 ml bottles for around 70 bucks. The 500 ml bottles are pretty hard to find now from my understanding. And um, I think they're around 160 to 180 bucks or up. Um, but again, pretty hard to find. So, you might know a little bit about Ned. Um, if you do, if you know much about Australian um, whiskey, the history on this is obviously not the best. Um, not gonna go into details, that's something that I'll let you guys Google. Um, I have no idea if, if the police investigation is still going on, but yeah, it, it, it's a bit of a sad tale between what happened and Realistically, what a what it could have been. It was going to be such a great business. They were producing amazing whiskey at the time, um, and they fucked people over. There's no other way to say it. Now, on saying that, we do get little special things like this, the straight back. Now, this is the Nant Barrels. Now, hopefully we'll be opening this up during the month. Um, I don't want to open that one up because it's such a special bottle, but I probably will. Um, so, as I said, not going to get into it, um, but let's just say I was a huge Nant fanboy when I discovered these guys probably about five or six years ago. Um, absolutely loved it. I think it was the first time I spent, you know, big money on, well, what I thought was big money on Australian whiskey, and I didn't feel ripped off. So, says a lot back then. Um, they were still 130, 140 bucks back then, four or five years ago. So, haven't really gone up in price too much, but um, yeah, they just, they were an amazing whiskey. So hopefully it's the same. Um, so it's all under new management now. So look, give them another chance. Um, I know there's a lot of sour people that won't um, do it just for, you know, the namesake of it. But at the end of the day, if you love your whiskey, probably you're gonna find something that Nant produces. So they use the traditional uh, method. They use the pot distillation uh, method. Um, Tasmanian barley and the water is from the surrounding lakes. So pretty cool. Uh, matured in French oak and French oak port cask? Yeah, well that's right, French oak port cask. Um, and then stood in a 180 year old building. So if you have not been to Tasmania, do yourself a favor, either get to Tasmania, have a look at how amazing that place is because there is history everywhere there, but also just Google it and have a look at the distillery, but have a look at some of the old buildings there. Um, I've done a, a five, six day hike um, over the Cradle Mountain uh, and there's a Cradle Mountain whiskey as well, which is very expensive if you can get it. Um, and then I spent some time afterwards and as I said, it's just an amazing place. I come from a bit of a historical town in Victoria called Ballarat. So I really connect with something like Tasmania. And look, it's probably the closest we'll ever be to Scotland. Well, I'll we'll probably ever get to Scotland. So anyways, let's get into it because this is what we're here for. Now, a bit of a copper, like a golden copper. Um, ooh, look, I don't know what I'd put that smell to. Fruity something or other. Anyways. Oh yeah. Has a bit of the it's a very light whiskey. It's not a it's not a heavy hitter. Now I talk I spoke about some of the other whiskies where I was a little bit disappointed that they didn't really have that flavor bomb or the the, the flavor that kind of lasted or it was worth it. This one here, while the flavor is short. It's enough to be like, yeah, this is good. It is a smooth whiskey that you can just sit back and actually really enjoy. And you really do get a berry kind of taste to it. Um, either way, whatever that is, you know what I'm like, I can't really pick all the different fruits and spices and stuff. There is a bit of a spice in it, um, but that is a beautiful whiskey. And I'm gonna call it, out of that 12 pack, that is hands down my favorite. 
So the big question is, do I recommend it? Well, yeah. <laughs> um, is it worth Jim Murray's 92 score? Yeah, yeah. To me, this one's probably about a nine. Um, it really gives me everything that I want from a good whiskey, um, something that I can enjoy. The problem is, is trying to find it now. Um, I would not be buying a 200 mil at 70 bucks or what, uh, 80 bucks. I would try and find one online for 150, 160 is a 500. Um, because realistically, 200 mils is gone and you know, that's just not what you want. Anyways, I am very, very, very happy with this. Um, I'm gonna do another video regarding the White Possum uh, Australian set, so the 12 whiskies from Australia, which is what I've been doing for the first 12 days. Um, you know, would I be buying it or would I re refer it or recommend it to people to buy? Um, I'll do another video for that one. But tomorrow we start on to Whiskey Loot's ones. So we'll get on to the Australian selection that Whiskey Loot has been sending through. Um, we've got about six or seven of them. So about a week of Whiskey Loot. And then we'll start stepping into some other bottles. So guys, make sure you leave a comment hit that subscribe and like button. And if you've got any other recommendations of Australian whiskies, please let me know because uh, I think I'm pretty much done and all full now, but cabinet still has a bit of space. Anyways, guys, we'll catch you tomorrow. See ya. Fucking great. <laughs>